Hey, welcome back. Today's Swiss Army Knife will be the Victorinox Champion C. Stay tuned and we'll check it out. The Victorinox Champion model was the flagship model of the Victorinox 91mm line from 1952 until 1986 when the Swiss Champ was first released. Earlier models were six layer models and are known as the Champion A or B respectively and I have videos of both of those on this channel. The seven layer Champion C evolved from the 1973 release of the magnifying glass and inline Phillips screwdriver. With the introduction of the Swiss Champ in 1985, the Champion was dethroned as the flagship model, however it was still produced and updated for several years under the name of the Champion Plus as they added the Plus skills. Unfortunately the Champion Plus seems to have been withdrawn somewhere around 2017. So as discussed, this is a 91mm knife. It is seven layers wide, making it right at an inch and a sixteenth scale to scale. We see on this model that we have the key ring in the pre-1991 location, and we get a four-turn fluted corkscrew. We get the 1977 to 1985 pattern of precision screwdriver. And then we get the 1961 to 1986 pattern of Reamer All with the sharpened edge, but no sewing eye. We get our standard opening layer with the can opener and precision screwdriver. We get the cap lifter, wire bender, and hollow ground screwdriver. But we take note that we do not have the 90 degree stop, nor do we have the wire stripper here in the groove. We have the 1973 to about 2002-2003 pattern of inline Phillips, which is longer and does include the 90 degree stop. And then we have the 73 to around the same time period, gray surround, 8 power magnifying glass. Our scissors are of the 1975 to 1990 variety with a dual band spring, the screw instead of a rivet, but we do not yet get the spring guiding groove. We get the fish scaler, which is a single bevel with the measuring scale and the magnetic tip. Got the hook disgorger up here. We get our wood saw, which is the 29 tooth right weighted saw, less polished than previous models. And then we take note that we do have the post 79 bump that the tip sits on. We get the 1975 to 1990 style of metal saw with the nail cleaner. And again, we date that by how the grind is on the file and how far down the tang it comes. We get our standard main blade. And for tang stamp, we get Victorinox Switzerland Stainless Ross Fry. We take note that the V is the same size as the rest of the letters in Victorinox. And then we have Officer Suisse, the bow and arrow, the plus sign it touches. This tank stamp ran from early 1976 until 1986.
we get our standard pin blade which is a post 73 version get our scale tools to include the toothpick and the tweezers And then as we see on this model, get my toothpick back in there, or my tweezers back in there, that we do have the standard red Celador scales, but the Champion has been offered throughout the years with several different variations of scales, and I would invite you to check out the SACWiki web link for more information on that. There's several special edition scales that have been produced. And just a few variants, you have Model number one decimal, 5793, which is a 1973 to 1986 version that has no long nail file. So apparently there was a seven layer knife with a long nail file. I've never seen one. Not sure how accurate that is. In 1984, they had a centennial edition for the seven layer champ. And then the 1986 to 2001 and probably later knives at a back layer chisel which is often found on some knives we've looked at a few knives that had that before the updated fine screwdriver so this fine screwdriver on the back changed in 1985 has more of a rounded loop and then the multi-purpose hook was added in 1991 so for dating this knife I'm gonna call it an 80 to 85 and then just to point out, this knife did come with a eyeglass precision screwdriver, which is of the 2003 and later variety. Uh, but this does lend itself very well to this edition. And even though it's seven layers, and I typically carry a uh, Evil Grip 18 or a Ranger, this is still in a handy little package that could be carried. So if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe below, and as always, I appreciate your time, stay tuned, and be nice to one another.